Hello, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of the Valder Beebe Show's That Celebrity Interview. Ladies, Nadia Okamoto and Chanel Leak, how are you? We're doing Fine. well. Thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas on the Bounder BB Show to talk about your Women of Worth yeah. program. Yeah. Okay, if we can f get a just, uh, I know uh, Nadia is a former honoree, and Chanel, you join us this morning to tell us all about it, so if we can get started. Absolutely. So L'Oreal Paris' Women of Worth program identifies 10 women from around the country every year and awards them for the work that they're doing to serve others in their community. And that can be anything from, you know, supporting homeless women and children like our organizations right. do, all the way to supporting troops abroad. Um, and so we're here to talk a little bit about what this program is and how to get involved. Um, and we're going to share a little bit about what we do as well. Right. And the nominations are open right now up until May 31st, where anyone ages 16 or older is eligible for someone to nominate someone that's doing good in the community. Um, with that, there's $10,000 that's awarded to their organization for them to continue their good work. And that all can be accomplished by going to womenofworth.com. Absolutely. What are the qualifications uh, to be uh, considered in the running? You know, you really just have to be 16 years or older. Um, consider yourself a woman um, who's doing good for the community. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a short form on womenofworth.com to expand a little bit about the work that the woman you're nominating does. I think that really it comes down to not specific qualifications or right. things about your identity or where you come from, but it really is just about, you know, what you're devoting your efforts to. Um, everyone in this, network, this sort of sisterhood in Women of Worth right. um, is really just about taking what they have and where they are to give back to others. And can you nominate yourself? Yes, yes, you can. Oh, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got that off of Facebook. See, uh, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> uh, Nadia, as a former honoree, what has been the value of you being honored? Absolutely. So um, I'm the founder and executive director of Period, the Menstrual Movement, which is a global youth-run nonprofit that provides period products to people who cannot otherwise afford them. And to do so, we mobilize a global network of young leaders um, to start on their campuses and in their local communities to make a difference and break the stigma around menstruation. And an award like this has really connected us to not only more people to mobilize as volunteers, but also connected us to the sisterhood that really values people just mobilizing to give back. Um, and the $10,000 certainly did help us expand our um, capacity for impact. So we're now sitting at over the last three years since I founded this organization when I was 16. We've addressed over 200,000 periods through product distribution and registered over 170 campus chapters. All right. I'm going to take a question off of Facebook, and this is for you, Nadia. They say you help globally. Do you help in the United States? Because they see this as a problem also among homeless women. Absolutely. I think that's something that we really underestimate is how much um, this is a problem here in the United States. You know, we know that periods are the number one reason why girls miss school in developing countries. Mm -hmm. But something that's less known is that period related pain is actually the number one reason why girls miss school in the United States. And period products are actually not as accessible as they should be. Um, in fact, in 36 states in the U.S., there's a sales tax on period products because they're considered luxury items. Um, so something my organization is trying to do is push forward equitable access to these products. Actually, we ha we're a huge fan of our chapters in, in Texas. Um, our University of Texas uh, chapter at Dallas actually just made their college the first public college in the entire state of Texas to have free period products in all of the restrooms. Oh, I love that. Chanel, and your connection? Uh, yes, well, I am the 2016 National Honoree, and with that came an additional $25,000 uh, that was awarded as part of the Women of Worth program. Um, so with that, I was able to expand my capacity to do what I do, which is bring personalized birthday parties to children in homeless shelters. Uh, personalized parties, that's parties that speak to their self-worth, speak to their importance, but also offer the families in shelters an opportunity for family engagement. Uh, from a cake with their name on it to uh, decorations personalized that they can take back to their space, but that also transforms the shelter. 
uh, to the gifts that they get that are based on their wish list. These are all aspects that we provide that we help the families have this moment of normalcy that we think provides um, that spectrum of hope that they have. And so with the Woman of Worth program and having this additional funds that was uh, awarded to me, I was able to move out from my home uh, into some space where we are able to serve more children, but more importantly than that is to have more volunteers, uh, community come together to put together the parties that say to these children that they're special. Um, and so as of to date, we've done over 800 uh, birthday parties where we celebrated the uniqueness of the homeless children. Ladies, both of your projects are definitely worthy of being awarded what you have received. We thank you for what you do. Thank and you. once again, where can, where can my audience go online? Because they may have projects that they want to get recognition yeah. for. It's on yeah. womenofworth.com, and as Chanel said, um, nominations are opened until May 31st. There's just a short form on the website where you can fill out a little bit about what the woman you're nominating does and why you think that they should be awarded Women of Worth. I thank you, ladies, for gracing the Valder BB show, and, but I thank you more for your missions you have taken on in life. Thanks for being my guest. Thank Wonderful. you for having thank us. Thank you.